A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. All wrap yourselves in humility to be servants of each other, because God refuses the proud and will always favour the humble. Bow down, then, before the power of God now, and he will raise you up on the appointed day. Unload all your worries on to him, since he is looking after you. Be calm, but vigilant, because your enemy the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion looking for someone to eat. Stand up to him, strong in faith, and in the knowledge that your brothers all over the world are suffering the same things. You will have to suffer only for a little while. The God of all grace, who called you to eternal glory in Christ, will see that all is well again. He will confirm, strengthen and support you. His power lasts for ever and ever. Amen. I write these few words to you through Silvanus, who is a brother I know I can trust, to encourage you never to let go this true grace of God to which I bear witness. Your sister in Babylon, who is with you among the chosen, sends you greetings. So does my son, Mark. Greet one another with a kiss of love. The Word of the Lord a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, he who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils, they will have the gift of tongues, they will pick up snakes in their hands, and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison, they will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. And so the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven, there at the right hand of God he took his place, while they, going out, preached everywhere the Lord working with them and confirming the word by the signs that accompanied it. The Gospel of the Lord